Hello and welcome, my anxiety-ridden hamsters. How you doing today? It's Super Jom Bombo here. And if you guys want to press that like button for me, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you haven't, because today we're showing off the hidden monkeys in Blue Tower Defense 6. First, we've got the ninja, the cannon, the boomerang, the dart monkey, the monkey ace, and last but not least, this one's probably the most hidden out of all of the secret hidden monkeys in the game. We're talking about, in the bottom right corner here, the monkey submarine. Ooh, now that's exciting. And we're going to take all of those towers here, and we're going to try to play chimps. No continues, no health, no income, no monkey knowledge, no powers, and no selling. And on top of all of that, we're going to use those six monkeys, but we're also going to use only one of each of them. We're not going to be using a ton of dart monkeys, or a ton of boomerangs, or a ton of cannons, only one of each. So positioning these guys properly and getting the right upgrades is going to be unbelievably important here. But first thing I want to do is I want to get my hero going, because I think that's going to be unbelievably important for us right here. Round 10, a little sketchy, but can we power through? We do. All right, so now we've got a door going on the screen here. Ba-boom, and we're feeling good for at least a little while in here. So before I get too far in here, I just wanted to mention really quick that when I woke up this morning, I felt terrible. Uh, do you guys ever have those days where you just wake up and you do not feel good, like, at all? But there's not really anything severely wrong with you. It's not like you have a keeling over stomach ache or your throat is ready to fall out. It's just like, I don't feel good. Today's one of those days. I just don't feel good. And then on top of that, first thing I did after I woke up, I drank a glass of water, I took a pee, and then I drove to the hospital because I had to get my second COVID vaccine. So... I'm still going to highly recommend everybody get your COVID vaccine, 100%. But of course, right now, I don't exactly feel good. Uh, on top of uh, not feeling good, I'm, I double don't feel good right now. So um, if you have the opportunity to be nice to me today, today would be the, the day that I would really appreciate it, guys. I know a lot of you guys out there would say that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal if you don't make a video, Chris. Why don't you just, you know, take a break? I mean, that would be absolutely fantastic. I, w I would love to take a break. But I also have to, you also have to keep in mind that, uh, sadly, YouTube is my source of income. And at this point in my life, and I don't mean to, to make you guys feel bad or anything like that, but YouTube um, is kind of a necessity for me. I have a lot of things going on in my life that I need to pay money for. I've got a wedding coming up. I'm trying to finish my basement. You know, I just bought my house last year, so um, I'm trying to fix it up and kind of do nice things to it and everything. And again, not begging for money or anything like that. I don't want you guys to feel bad, but I can't, I don't want to just take a break. It's really important for me to try to keep up with uh, all the videos and everything. So that being said, I just want you guys to try to bear with me today, all right? If I sound uh, a little slow or if I have a couple gaffes here and there, please, please forgive me. <laughs> please, please forgive me, all right? I beg of thee. Uh, and we're going to try to have some fun today, all right? So we've got all of our towers except for the monkey ace set up in here. I think it's time. Let's go for that monkey ace. We're going to throw him off in the yeah, throw him off in the corner here. Let's put him on figure eight, I think. I don't love it. I don't think it's perfect, but I think I have to do it. Do you guys ever have those just struggle bus days where not only are you on the struggle bus, but like your bus has no wheels and the rims are crooked and... You know, even like the frame of the bus is at like a 45 degree angle and you got to climb a freaking three mile cliff or something like that. That's kind of how I feel today. And on top of that, we're doing a very ridiculous challenge here, or at least, at least playing on an easy map. This is a map that I would say is one of the easier maps in the game, but not as easy as it might make it out to be. Because even though you do have a lot of time where you spend on the screen here... There is a really, really risky part to this one, where as soon as those balloons leave, you don't know when they're going to leave. As soon as they leave, they're just gone. Can't do anything about it. All your popping power is in the middle. You can't save yourself. It's just, it's over. Your life is over, man. All right, so my next step here is I'm going to get a sharp shooting crossbow dart monkey here. And we're going to go for a quick shot and a very quick shot. So not only will this help against the MOA, but it's going to be a lot of that extra popping power that I need. And eventually, I think I would really like to get a crossbow master here, guys. I really do. I think it would be a fantastic combo to have. Also, for the Moab, if I can afford it, I'd love to get a fighter plane. 
Having those missiles kind of launching just randomly here and there, popping them up, delicious. And just a little bit of extra balloon popping power as well. Just kind of having these darts throwing, flowing around all over the place. All right, let's see. This mob should not be a big problem for us. Missiles, ninja, crossbow, like everything set up for Moab popping power right now. And oh my god, yeah, absolute annihilation here, guys. Beautiful. But now, I have to think again about that late game attitude. What am I going to get for this late game? And I think the best thing for me right now to get set up for late game is got to be this plutonium reactor. All right, it's going to be my automatic camera detection for the rest of the game. Every single balloon should go through here, and even if the DDTs don't stay in there for a long time, at the very least, they should pass through there a little bit. And in combination with all of my other monkeys, hopefully it just kind of works out, I guess. Hopefully, I think it will, I, I think. But even so, what I want to do is I end up wanting to get this uh, spy plane upgrade instead of the centered path. I would love to get a centered path, because on this map, you just fly around in this nice circle right here, and it looks so pretty. And you're right in the middle of the balloons, and it's awesome, but you lose out on that cam detection. And I can't build a village or anything like that, so I'm stuck with the upgrades that exist. And now it's time for a ton of balloon popping power. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up getting a recursive cluster here with heavy bombs. Very good short-term tower, but not a good long-term tower. So I have like three towers that I don't plan on getting upgraded at all. This guy, not getting a bomb blitz. This guy, I'm not getting an energizer. I can just tell you that straight up. This guy, I'm not getting a Grandmaster Ninja. So we're left with only three towers that I can get up to fifth here at this point. I can get a Sky Shredder. I can get a Crossbow Master. Or I think what I'm leaning towards, because I positioned my boomerang right in the middle of the map, like a boss. I was thinking about getting a, come on, give me a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. A Glade Lord. Ooh, hot diggity dog. And I honestly don't know which one's better. Faster firing or red hot rings. But I think just for that little bit of extra um, range here, and just in case, randomly, like, this helps against CDTs a little bit, I mean, I'm just going to get it. So, boom. Now we got the red hot rings over here. And we're hoping that this is just going to work out in our favor here. I should say that this is actually very weird. I'm using one of my best strategies ever. Ninja and Adora combo. But the weird thing about this is that without an alchemist, this is not that good. It's so important for this strategy for you to have an alchemist that without it, I can go from being the best strategy in the game to all of a sudden being one of the worst or at least mediocre strategies in the game. The amount of money that I spent on these guys and for the hero that I picked without an alchemist, this is rougher than I want it to be, 100%. All right, guys, the money is really flowing in here. We are relying a lot on our Bluetonium reactor right here, but all these leads do fly through here, and they're slow enough that they will get affected by the Bluetonium reactor. Don't forget that this thing is not an automatic decamelizer. If you go inside of the range for only a split second, it's only when the pings happen. Ping. 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 That's when you decamelize. If you do it outside of that, that's where it can get kind of sketchy, and you don't get that pop power that you might otherwise pretty much need. Alright, we gotta talk about targeting here. I think it's gonna actually be important. I'm gonna put this guy in close. All I wanna do is hit as many balloons as I can, but put him on close, he should just explode as much as he can. He won't miss or do something stupid. This guy, we're gonna put him on strong, because all I want him to do is I want him to pop the above class balloons. I want him to crit hit, because when you crit hit against the above class balloon, you get 50 damage instead of the normal, like, 6 or whatever. And it's super helpful against those Moab class balloons if you crit properly. Only if you crit properly. If you miss a couple crits, ooh, it can get real rough real fast here. All right, round 63, one of the toughest balloon levels in the game. I feel like most of my towers are kind of set up here to pop 63 though, so I'm not too worried about it. And I got $22,000 saved up, so that looks pretty good to me, but I need another 14,000 plus dollars here to get my Glaive Lord. That's not happening until around like 70 or something. Maybe even later. I adore just made it to level 10 here, so now we've got our extra ability here. Yes. That combination of two extra abilities should get us through this. Whenever I see any reinforced mobs, I'm just gonna go for it, man. Using at least one of the abilities. Do you guys remember when I said at least round 70? <laughs> you get so little money on these rounds, it's ridiculous. We're on round 72 right now. Trying to save up for this Glaive Lord, and it's it's going! Don't get me wrong, it is going, but it's taking forever. And here it is. 
The Glaive Lord surrounds itself in three special glaives that shred anything that come nearby. Glaive Lord's glaives now rip through Moab class blue, slowly tearing them apart from the inside. Oh, yes! That's just like an eargasm, if I do have to say so myself. I just gave myself one. Listening to that, tear them up from the inside. Yes! Yes! Alright, check out this Glaive Lord against round 78. Here's a BFB coming in, obliterated. Here's the gigantic chunk of camo ceramics coming in, obliterated. And that's why you gotta use this guy, man. He's really weird, though, I will say. Is he a tower that you should use all the time? No. He actually is not a tower that you should use all the time. He's not a tower that, like, just owns. But he is one of those towers that if you find the perfect location... Location, 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 baby. And a nice circular motion right here. Oh, yes! Get that Glaive Lord flowing in there. And he will pop so many bloons. It's ridiculous. Uh, his only main weakness is, of course, big, chunky bloons. So, oh, my gods. Reinforce, oh, my gods. A little bit of DDT action in there. And, of course, the bad bloons. Just terrible against the bad. So... Um, you have to think about other things to pop the bad balloon and other reinforced things. And I think that I have a fantastic idea here. Check this out. This is Oh My God, though. Before they even make it one time around, baby, we take them down. Can I be straight with you guys for a quick second here? I honestly do not know what would be better. The Crossbow Master or the Sky Shredder. Normally, I would say Sky Shredder 100% of the time. But I had to go for that Spy Plane. So I lose out on a lot of popping power from that guy. Uh, and he's in a really bad spot. Like, it's tough to say that this guy is going to be better. But I think I'm going to go for it, and we're going to see how well it works out for us. And if I have to lose out on a Black Chips medal, so be it. All right, guys, here's the first set of DDTs coming in here. Let's see how well we do. Three DDTs. Okay, it looked like it got obliterated. Like, probably first pass through, pass through or something like that. That's pretty good. I, I do like me the sound of that. I honestly, you know, the one thing that I would really like to do is put this guy in Wing Monkey, but in Chimps mode, we don't have that option. I know, it does suck here. All right, round 92 shouldn't be too bad. Round 93 is going to be a little rough here. Uh, but after that, I'm really hoping to get my cross faster for round 95. Let's see if we can make that happen here, boys. Also, just to be safe here on round 93, I'm going to be using abilities. I think there's no reason that I shouldn't be using abilities here. Let's just use them right. Let's start a little early here with this ability. All right, DDT is coming in. How we doing? Oh my god, that was scary as crap. I think it made it three times around. Dude, we're, there's no way we're going to... Even these reinforced BFBs are getting kind of scary over here. There's no way we're going to survive round 95 if we don't get this crossbow master. We need this guy. And we need him now. All right, good news is... Crossbow master has been gotted. Uh, lots of crit damage over here. I still got him on strong. I might move him back to first here. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to move him back to first here. And I've got to use all of my abilities here for round 95 again, guys. This is going to be rough. Let's see what we got going on. We're going to wait just a quick second here. I don't want to use it right right away. I want to wait it out. Just a, just a smidge. Just a smidge. All right, let's use it. First ability down. Second ability used. And it looks like round 95 actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, at least yet. At least yet. Looking good. All right. Round 95 is taken down. Um, round 96 is going to be the next difficult level for us. And what I can do now is I can actually do something super ridiculously funky fresh if we desire. How much funky freshness do you guys want over here? All right. Technically, I only get one of these towers, but it didn't say that we couldn't sacrifice them. <laughs> Do we? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're going to use this guy as well. I think we'll get it back by the time we need it for... Well, we kind of need it right now, I guess. So, But we're probably fine. The Sky Shredder's pretty awesome. Saximus Prom. Go, baby, go. Yeah, oh, yeah, this guy's... They're done. They're done. Popping one at a time, that's exactly what you want to see, man. All right. Now round 98. We got $20,000. Let's sacrifice. Let's go four? I mean... I don't think we can afford it. Let's sacrifice him. He's level 16 now. Do we build another one? I mean, uh, let's go for a, uh, let's go for that sabotage now. Ooh, baby. All right, all right. 
For 99, maybe we could use that guy. All right, we're using our abilities already, guys. Lave Lord should be superbly pro powerful here, but not all. You know what? Let's use it. I'm afraid. I'll admit it. I am afraid. This is a lot of balloons on the screen. Every single ability I got here, we're going for it. Uh, 98. So my god's on the screen. So many things on the screen right here. Lave Lord getting so many pops. And it looks like we will be successful. But now I have no abilities for round 99. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <gasps> oh. We can't do it. All right, guys, there goes my black chimps medal. It's now currently a red chimps medal, if we can even do that. All right, what we got to do is we got to sacrifice another ninja. Boom. We're going to sacrifice, and we're going to get some extra Adore experience here, and we're going to go for another one of these balloon sabotages, and I hope that I can get this guy up in time. Hopefully. Let's see if that works out. Even just a tiny bit of extra... Oh, crap, it's not looking good. Oh, my God. Can we do it this time? Sacrifice! The cannon! No! No! Oh. Well, there's the gaff, guys. I think we tried. I don't know what I could have done better. I mean, besides spending my money like a little bit better or using a different hero... Or using my abilities just a smidge better on round 98. I don't know what we could have done better. But I knew I was going to feel bad today. And I think I just have to upload a video for you guys. So we're going to have to end the defeat for today. Can you beat them? Not today. Yes, you can. But not, not, not today. If you guys enjoyed anyways, press that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.